What is going on guys is Noology and welcome back to the channel for another awesome WWE video. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about my WWE SummerSlam 2017 match predictions. Now this article is by philly.com. I'm not going to read this full article but if you guys do want to check it out for yourselves I will leave a link to it down in the video's description. Um, now anyways let's get into those match predictions. Um, but before we do that, actually, I really like this picture. It's really funny. It looks like they both have to take a poop. I mean, look at their faces. Um, you know, Brock Lesnar's like, oh, like, and Samoa Joe's like, eee. and they just look like they really are constipated or something like that. Um, but anyways, let's get down to those matches, guys. Um, anyways, the first match they have listed here is the WWE Universal Championship match between Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, and Samoa Joe. Now, honestly, all of these men are good contenders to win the championship. However, something stands out, and that is that The Shield is having a match against Sheamus and Cesaro for the Tag Team Championships, so I kind of feel like Dean and Seth Rollins is going to interfere in this match and help Roman Reigns win, and that will form The Shield 2.0. Would you guys like to sh uh, see The Shield return? Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. What do you guys feel about this match? Do you think The Shield is going to help Roman Reigns uh, win this match and become the new Universal Champion? I could see that definitely happening. Um, but let me know your guys' predictions down below. Let's read off what the site think, uh, thinks is going to happen. So they have listed that their prediction is Lesnar retains the Universal Championship. Um, that could definitely be the case too. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I feel like Roman's going to walk out because of Dean and Seth. Um, anyways, the next match we have listed here is the WWE Championship match between Jinder Mahal and Shinsuke Nakamura. I definitely see Shinsuke Nakamura walking out the winner and the new World Heavyweight Champion because Shinsuke gets a good reaction from the crowd. He's really popular on SmackDown Live and Jinder Mahal had some pretty good uh, retains and stuff like that for the championship. So I feel like Jinder's time is up as the champion and Shinsuke is the new World Heavyweight Champion. The site also predicts that Nakamura will win the WWE Championship. Like I said, he's really good with the crowd so I definitely feel he is going to win that. Up next, we have John Cena versus Baron Corbin. I feel like Baron Corbin's going to get a strong push here for having such a bad money in the bank cash in. Did you guys see that? What an epic fail. John Cena costed Baron Corbin the World Heavyweight Championship. So I feel like Baron's going to get a very strong push here, become more aggressive, and build up his character uh, even more. And maybe eventually he'll get a good push for the World Heavyweight Championship. We'll have to wait and see. But I feel like Baron's going to walk out the winner of this match. Um, the site has listed... Let's keep scrolling. Their prediction is that there will be no finish. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Up next, we have the WWE United States Championship match, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. Um, I definitely think AJ Styles will retain the United States Championship. I don't think they're going to keep passing the title around like a hot potato back and forth. You know what I mean? I think AJ Styles will retain. He's a very popular person, probably one of the most popular people in WWE today. Um, so I definitely feel like AJ Styles will walk out uh, still the United States Champion. Um, let's keep scrolling down here. The next match, we have the WWE Raw Women's Championship match. Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. I don't see why they would give this back to Sasha. I don't see why they'd give the title back to her. Honestly, I feel like Alexa Bliss will retain the title just because she's really strong. She's really OP on Raw. Uh, they seem to push her a lot. So I feel like Alexa Bliss will retain that championship. Like I said, I don't see why they'd give it to Sasha, honestly. That wouldn't really make sense. Um, but of course, maybe they'll want to push Sasha again. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I still call Alexa winning that one. Uh, their prediction is that Bliss retains the title as well. Um, up next, we have the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship match, Naomi versus Natalia. I feel like Naomi is going to retain the title here, and I feel like Carmella is going to cash in and possibly beat Naomi for the championship. That's just how I feel. Um, you know, Corbin had a crappy cash in, so therefore I feel like Carmella will have a successful cash in and actually win the championship. Um, the site here says, I believe part of the reason WWE had Corbin cash in before SummerSlam was to clear the way for Carmella to cash in her contract. So I definitely think she's going to cash in and win that. Um, let's take a look at their prediction. It says, Naomi retains the SmackDown Women's Championship, but Carmella cashes in the Money in the Bank. I definitely see that happening. Up next, we have the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship match, Sheamus and Cesaro, uh, Cesaro versus Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. I definitely see Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose winning this. I mean, why not? You know, the Shield was very popular back then, and I definitely feel like Seth and Dean will win, and then they'll help, you know, Roman Reigns win, and then they'll all be champions, and then, you know, a big, strong um, Shield return there. So that's just how I feel for that match. Dean and Seth, hands down, are walking out the new tag team uh, champions. 
their predictions is that Rollins and Ambrose will win the Raw Tag Team Championships as well. I mean, why wouldn't they? Um, you know, Dean and Seth are really popular on Raw, and um, people love the Shield. So, up next, we have Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. I see Finn Balor winning this. He's like one of the most popular people on Raw. Um, everybody loves Finn Balor. Um, their prediction as well is that Balor will defeat Wyatt. What do you guys feel about this match? I definitely think Finn will walk out strong, especially since he's supposed to do the demon attire. Um, yeah, demon Finn versus Bray Wyatt. Demon Finn will definitely win. Demon Finn will definitely win. I like that. Um, their predictions that Balor will defeat Wyatt. Uh, anyways, Randy Orton versus Rusev. I don't really care about this match, honestly. I mean, who cares? I think Randy Orton will probably win. I mean, like I said, I don't really care about the match. Their prediction is that Orton will defeat Rusev as well. Um, up next, we have Big Show versus Big Cass. I feel like Big Cass is going to get a nice, strong push here. I mean, Big Show is kind of a jobber nowadays anyways. Um, and I think they're trying to build up Big Cass's character more. So I think Big Cass will probably get a big push here. Big Cass for the big push. How do you guys feel about that? Um, they also predict that Big Cass will defeat the Big Show as well. Um, let's see the other matches. Kickoff match, WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, The New Day versus The Usos. I see The New Day retaining championships because why not? The New Day always gets the fans fired up. They're really good crowd pleasers and they sell a lot of merchandise for WWE. So yeah, I definitely see The New Day retaining the championships here. Like why not? Their prediction as well is that The New Day will retain the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. And then up next we have the kickoff match, WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Um... Akira Tozawa versus Neville. Um, since Akira Tozawa is the champion, I feel like he is going to successfully retain against Neville. Neville had a very long, strong push for a really long time. So I don't think Neville will win this. I think Akira Tozawa will retain the championship. Let's see what the site has to say about it. It says their prediction is, as well is that Tozawa will retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Why not? Um, another match we have here is a kickoff match. The Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan versus The Miz, Bo Dallas, and Kurt Axel. The Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan all the way. Why not? Hardy Boys are very popular on Raw. Jason Jordan is Kurt Angle's son, supposedly. So I definitely think that the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan will win this. Um, the prediction, as well as the Hardy Boys and Jordan, will defeat The Miz, um, Dallas, and Axel. Um, and I think that's all the matches they have listed here for SummerSlam. Let me know your guys' SummerSlam predictions down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from all of you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, slap a huge thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Click the bell notification as well. But I'm Newology, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm out for now. Peace.